Get ready with me as I tell you about the story of my internet stalker. We'll call him John for the story. We actually met at a summer camp in Boston. He's like a little bit on the quieter side. He's like a little bit nerdy, but he seems nice. So I became friends with him. We've always just been like, you know, not super close friends or anything, but we've been cordial to each other. As the week goes by, I kind of notice that he's getting a little bit more flirty with me. You know, he starts asking me to like come to his room. Obviously I don't accept because I feel like I didn't want to lead him on. And one day during class, he asks for my Snapchat, which, you know, Snapchat, it's pretty casual. It's like no big deal. So I end up giving him my Snapchat. As soon as I added him on Snapchat, I started hearing rumors about myself saying that me and John, we like kissed or something, which was news to me because we had not done anything. So I'm pretty upset at this point because spreading false rumors about someone is never okay. And I was honestly getting like pretty scared because a lot of people were believing him. I approached him the next day and was like, hey, like, like, you need to fess up and tell me if you're actually spreading these false rumors and to come clean with it. At first, he was gaslighting me like a lot of people do, being like, oh my god, I have no idea what you're talking about. But that night, he eventually sent me a Snapchat basically admitting to everything he did and was straight up apologizing to me. I obviously didn't want to have bad blood with anyone, so after he told everyone that it was fake and he made it up, I like forgave him, but I just basically kept my distance from him for the rest of camp. The worst part comes when camp actually ends. On the last day of camp, I received a text from a random number. It was John apologizing for all of the rumors that he spread again. I was alarmed because I had not given him my number. He must have gotten it from somebody else. And then for the next like week, he basically sends me 250 text messages. None of them I have responded to. It's just spamming me with so many text messages claiming he loves me. He even Google translated something in Mandarin saying he's like, oh, look at how much I love you. I even Google translated something into Mandarin because he knew I could speak Mandarin and he started having a full-on conversation with himself where he would say hey how's your day and then obviously I wouldn't respond and he would say oh mine's good thanks for asking it was really scary though because he would spam FaceTime me five times a day and then at one point he even claimed his cat died the next like, five minutes he was like oh just joking just thought that might make you reply to me I thought after about a week of leaving camp like things would stop or he would get bored talking to himself the whole time it's actually lasted for a solid month after camp. It did eventually stop, thank god. I felt like in this situation there was nothing that I could really have prevented it from happening either. I just hope that he doesn't do this to anybody else because it was honestly a very scary experience that I don't wish on anyone. And I also hope that he gets the help that he needs because this is obviously not healthy behavior. It's been about, I would say, seven years since this incident happened. I hope he's doing better. I'm glad that he is no longer contacting me.